Hey Balance Burners, welcome to Balance Burn. The cornerstone of Balance Burn is the Megaformer. And for those of you that have never been on one, I realize it can, be, it can look a little bit intimidating. To take away some of that intimidation factor today, I just want to introduce you to this machine. There are a lot of moving parts, so I'm just going to give you an idea of the name of each one and what it does, so that whenever you actually get on the machine, you have a little bit of familiar, familiarity of what you're going to be doing on it. So, starting on the front of the machine, and it's the front because this is where the carriage rests, you have the front platform. Attached to the plat front platform, you have platform rails, you have a platform strap, a little bit higher up you have high bars and C bars. Now the platform is fixed and does not move. Conversely, on the back end of the machine, you have the back platform again with platform straps, platform rails, and high bars. And again, this is fixed. Now the moving part of the machine and what makes it so dynamic is the carriage. This guy moves back and forth and is the only moving part of the machine. On the carriage, you have eyelets, both the front and back eyelets. You have carriage straps and carriage rails. Now this is where it starts getting a little bit tricky. Ballast Burn is the only studio on the East Coast and one of the few in the entire country that have the, the MS M3S, which is the mega former that works on an incline. And to work this guy, we have this trusty little remote control. So we have one through six. On the bottom is the number one, which will make the megaformer flat. On the top you have number six, which will bring the megaformer to a 45 degree angle, which is going to feel basically vertical, but I promise it's not. This is just one of the ways to change intensity or difficulty on the megaformer. The other way is by the spring-loaded weight resistance. Um, this is really easy to change through the workout. Um, it's, you have two color-coded spring weights here. Uh, there's no weight, as weight associated with each color because it's progressional. Um, the, the, the further that you stretch the spring, the heavier it gets. It just makes sense according to physics. The yellow spring is the lightest and it just slides into the slot and slides down. Red spring is the heaviest, and it's equivalent to about five yellow springs. So it's really easy to put this guy on and off. The only thing is that the carriage does need to be in the resting position against the front platform in order to change the springs, otherwise it goes flying all over the place. Last couple of parts that you need to know about, we have a couple of cables that we use both for upper body and for lower body movements. You have your black handles here with the cable strap, one on both sides, and then you also have your red handles. Most of these guys are used for floor exercises on the back of the machine and a couple of lunges on the uh, back platform here as well. Last but not least, we have our trusty friend here that I call Roger. He's just here to help with balance and security. I know he looks like a tiki lamp, but he doesn't light up. Just here to help you balance whatever you're standing on the machine. So, now that you know what the machine does, hopefully it's not quite as intimidating, and we look forward to seeing you in class soon.